Ride Hotel Bel Air at the Rock the Elephant charity event. Did you know that only 3% of charitable donations go to helping the environment and only 1% goes to helping wildlife? Rock the Elephant wants to put a stop to those statistics. So we're here to bring about awareness about protecting the rhinos and protecting the elephants. Thank you. Okay, so I gotta ask you because I've been following your Instagram page. Okay, so I see you have hair. Are you changing up your look? Kind of back to the wife. Probably for the winter. Nothing crazy, but I just wanted to have some fun. Switch it up a little bit. Well, you're so beautiful. You can do that. You can rock a ball. You can have some hair. So it's beautiful. Tell me, how is it? being on Empire. It's amazing. It's like a big family there. Everybody just having fun and being in the moment. I'm just so proud of everybody and the success from Empire. I'm just happy to be a part of such a cultural phenomenon. So. Now, are we going to find your vocals on the soundtrack on any of the songs? I know that they've been talking about having a soundtrack for Empire. Yeah. Um, well, we have a soundtrack every season, so I'll be on the next one. We'll have a, a lot of good little moments there. So just keep watching. Now, quick question. What is your spirit animal? If you had to have an animal that like symbolizes you and your spirit, what animal would that be? A giraffe. And why? Because they just, um, they're neutral. And they, uh, they sit high. And they just, they're, they're majestic creatures too. Very different, strong, but uh, soft at the same time. Yeah. I think the... Some of the communities really support the poachers because the poachers come in and they pay them to be uh, their warning signs if the police come in and so on. So some communities are very loyal to the poachers. Why? Because the poachers tend to help them feed their families. So one of our challenges is trying to convince the communities that we can provide an alternative and that we're very sincere in it and we're not just there to exploit them or the animals around them, but that uh, we can really make a difference in that. What is the one thing that most people misunderstand about poaching elephants and rhinos? I think most people don't understand just how severe the issue is, mm -hmm. and just how many elephants and how many rhinos were losing. And for people in the United States, a lot of people still do not know that this is happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are entrenched in this world, but it's amazing how when you go out and talk to people, they still don't know right. that this is an issue, how, how severe it is. Now, if someone wanted to get involved and like become a volunteer, how could they go about doing that with your organization? You know, we really don't accept volunteers in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the contacts that we and through our website, which is erp.ngo, um, but most of those kinds of opportunities are going to be surrounded surrounding fundraising events or other kinds of opportunities. You know, reaching out to local legislatures, those types of things. Foundation and, and a guy that's a, a, big, a big proponent, Tom Vandell, is a guy I've known for many years. We've worked with him at Universal International. Um, met, met, he says 30 years and it's, tw it's more than 20 years. I don't even like to say five years at this point, but no, it's, it's you know, look, uh, you know, my group and myself, we do a lot of charity events. Uh, this is near and dear to his heart, and anything that he feels is important is important to me. And you know, we've been spending a lot of time raising awareness about some of the causes that are the traditional needs, although, you know, we do a lot of stuff with the traditional pediatric aids and Elizabeth Pleasure and, 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 and Race to a Race, MS. This is one that's, that's very important uh, for the world, you know, and, 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 and so, so we're excited to be here. You know, I, I'm honored for that matter. Now, I've been asking everyone here on the carpet, what is your spirit animal and why? What's your spirit animal? She's a tiger. She's a tiger, and I'm like the smallest mouse on the planet compared to her, you know. No, why tiger? Get stuck in LA traffic. Oh, okay. Then you, you don't turn your you turn let the inner lion out. Well, I mean, I mean, it's not even if it it's, gets let out; it just actually comes out. Which is, you know, we came in from Vegas, you know, and, and, and we 
it drove today. It. Yeah, we drove it today. So, you know, we were, we were stuck in that traffic all day long, but yeah, most of the time I'm a pretty big pussy cat compared to that. <laughs> and he was a lion, though, the other way. Yeah, the other way was a kid. You guys are such troopers for coming in. I was, I came from downtown and I was like losing my mind. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you came in from Vegas. That's crazy. <laughs> well, so, again, it's worth it for us. I mean, and, and again, Tom's, Tom's a good friend of mine. We've worked together in the past. And this is something that's, that's really cool. And the more I learn about it, you know, the more I want to be involved with it. We're trying to get our group to do something with it as well. So. And that's what I was going to ask you. What's coming up for 98 Degrees? Are we going to see some reunion tour or an album, maybe? We just got off the of horse. Oh. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, no, I, we, we just got off a, a fairly successful tour called the My2K Tour. Okay. It was the first time we had toured in a couple of years. The last time we had come back for a very long time was with New Kids on the Fly a few years yes, ago. Yes. And Boys to Men, who are our idols. And this one we headlined, and it, it was a big success for us. And so now we're looking back going, looking forward to going overseas and okay. then maybe doing a record this summer and then maybe putting together something big for next summer as well. Okay. that really result in, in elephants and rhinos being saved, whether it's enforcement or the collaring activities or Project Hope, that's the most rewarding for us because you can really see the, uh, the, the work that you've put into raising money for specific causes have an effect. It's wonderful. Really, really gratifying. Now, I've been asking everyone here on the carpet, what is their spirit animal? An animal that identify, ah. that you identify with ah. and why? <laughs> You know what? For me, it's always been a lion. Okay. <laughs> and why a lion? You know what? It's my star sign, and, and it just seems to be in my space all the time. We just had the room here, and there's a lion fountain out outside. We just looked at a house that we we're going to buy, and you know, a lion head outside. I don't know. It follows me around. It's a little Simba in me, I think. <laughs> Trying to stay young. Now, if you could, if anyone could take one thing away from this event tonight, what would that one thing be? What do you want people to go home with? Last, uh, lasting impression in their mind? That's a really, really good question. I mean, for us, I think it's to spread the word. Make people aware, especially young people, and say, hey, listen, this is a, a, a call to action that needs to be heeded immediately. You know, you have 100,000 elephants that have perished over the last uh, three years to fund terrorism, program, to, to fund child trafficking, and to fund, you know, unnecessary medical needs. Right. Um, think Seattle and Viagra. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It really is ridiculous. And if you let people know how many elephants have perished in that short span of time, and how many are left, I think they'll understand the urgency of our, our ask to really get involved, to spread the word, do whatever you can on a micro level, and, and be kind, spread the love, and help. Hey guys, <laughs> so tonight was wild. For more information about Rock the Elephant charity event, go to www.rocktheelephant.org. And as always, always